knee pain and arthritis. The cartilage of the knee is complex and it is made up of elastic compressive structures. The normal articular cartilage is called hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage provides a smooth gliding surface to help in smooth motion of the joint. There are few drops of synovial fluid inside the knee, about 2 cc's, which helps in the motion and lubrication of the joint. Between the hyaline cartilage, which is articular cartilage, and the meniscus. The meniscus is a shock absorbing cushion that's made of cartilage between the hyaline articular cartilage. So here you can see the hyaline articular cartilage of the femur and of the tibia and the meniscus lies in between them. The hyaline cartilage is not a simple structure. It is a complex structure that has four layers. A superficial layer, a middle layer, a deep layer, and calcified layer. After calcified layer is the bone. Cartilage cells are supposed to live forever. Good cartilage cells are sterile and they cannot make more of the same cartilage if these cartilage cells are destroyed or died. If the cartilage is subjected to excessive wear, excessive trauma or injury, overuse, excessive weight or improper alignment, then the cartilage will wear away, leaving the bone to rub against the bone. As you can see here in this example, the cartilage does not have the ability to heal itself by hyaline cartilage. However, it does sometimes heal itself by inferior type of cartilage called the fibrocartilage, especially if the area that needs to be repaired is small. What is the treatment of arthritis of the knee? There are a number of treatment options that can help the patient. Number one, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. The doctor would choose the right kind of medication. People respond differently to medications. The doctor usually select the type, the dosage, and duration of the treatment. The medication has to be safe and effective. Be sure to ask the doctor questions about any side effects of the prescribed medication and ask the doctors how they will monitor the side effect of medications, especially if the patient is taking it for a long time. non anti-inflammatory medication is commonly used with arthritis. For example, ibuprofen or Motrin. The selection of this medication is based on the physician's preference and the patient's susceptibility. The duration of the use of the medication will be based on the effectiveness, the side effects of the medication, and the medical history of the patient. Anti-inflammatory medication may have side effects. The physician will ask if the patient has gastritis or stomach problems. These type of medications may cause renal failure or renal problems. It may also interfere with fracture healing. COX-2 inhibitors such as Celebrex and Mobic, Meloxicam, can cause less gastrointestinal side effects but it also may cause other side effects. Ultram trimadol is used for symptomatic arthroarthritis, but its use may be limited. Tylenol may also be used. Some people prefer Ultram or Tylenol. Medication is a core initial treatment that is very important and is recommended. 
The second most important thing is losing weight. The normal body mass index, BMI, is between 18.5 to 24.9. Overweight is considered when the BMI is between 25 to 29.9. Obese when the BMI is 30 or more. Recommend diet and exercises in order to lose about 5% of the body weight, especially if above 25 BMI. Losing 10% of body weight is a lot better than losing 5%. Recommend nutritional consultation for the patient. Metabolic syndrome patients. How do we deal with this? These patients will have abdominal obesity, high blood pressure, elevated fasting, blood glucose levels, dyslipidemia. These are complex patients who have metabolic syndrome and the orthopedic surgeon will need the support for multiple medical subspecialties. Number three, low impact physiotherapy. Low impact activities such as swimming or cycling is usually better and add less stress on the knees. Jogging, running, and tennis are high impact activities and will add more stress on the knees. Decrease activities that aggravate the pain. Lifestyle modification to protect the knees will slow the progression of the arthritis. There is strong evidence that physiotherapy will help the patient. Physiotherapy will decrease the pain, improve the function of the knees, increase strength, range of motion, and flexibility of the knees. Physiotherapy should be individualized with a program that meets the patient needs, the lifestyle, and expectations. Aerobic exercises, education, wellness, home program are important. The patient should continue physiotherapy exercises even if they begin to feel better, since the benefit could be lost if the patient stops doing these exercises. Injections. Injection will relieve the patient pain and disability. Options for treatment is intraarticular injections of steroids, visco supplementation, or hyaluronic acid. Steroid injections can be administered about three to four times per year. It is usually short lived, and the relief is usually temporary. Recently, a knee injection called Julretta is used. The steroids will have prolonged effect. At three months, 70% of the patient had zero to mild pain. At four months, 60% of the patient had zero to mild pain. And the patient came back for a repeat of the injection between four to six months. This Zilarta is a novel microsphere technology with extended release. It stays in the synovium of the knee for about 12 weeks. More than 50% of the patient will have no to mild pain at one week. It gives prolonged pain relief with 18 times lower peak plasma. That causes minimal increase in the blood glucose, so it is safe for diabetics. Visco supplementation. Visco supplementation will improve the quality of the joint fluid. Be aware of allergy to poultry and may cause the patient allergy to some of these injections. The problem with hyaluronic acid and visco supplementation is the studies that are published do not meet the minimal clinically important improvement threshold. There are a group of patients which these injections could help them. 
then Dusty is more interested in competing against each other rather than finding which group of patients will receive benefit from hyaluronic acid or visco supplementation injection. Other methods of injection, gene therapy, PRP, growth factors, stem cells. It is logical to pursue the efficacy of stem cells in cartilage regeneration. The studies are preliminary and more clinical trials and more research is needed in this area. There is no cure for arthritis. Injection may help, however, this is only temporary. Other treatment options with no clinical effective response. Acupuncture, massage, glucosamine, chondroitin sulfate. Valgus directing brace, wedges in the feet, arthroscopic debridement and lavage. Assistant device may be helpful, like a cane, shock absorbing shoes, shoe inserts, knee sleeves, support brace. Arthroscopy should not be done in arthritis unless there is a loose body or a meniscal tear causing mechanical symptoms of recurring locking, catching, swelling, and pain. So what is the new technique that's called subchondroplasty? It's an engineered calcium phosphate mineral compound. It looks like a toothpaste and is injected into the subchondral defect and is injected through a small incision using X-ray guidance. The X-ray will guide the injection into the marrow lesion spot, as you can see here in this diagram. This material will harden quickly and makes a scaffold in the bone and will support the bone. Over time, this material will get replaced by a new bone. This artificial bone graft material is used for an active patient that has pain in the knee from arthritis with a lesion in the marrow underneath the joint as seen in the MRI. This patient is usually trying to avoid much larger surgery. This technique is an outpatient technique. The American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons guidelines. These guidelines are suggestions and the treatment of the patient with arthritis should be individualized and based on the doctor's clinical judgment, the patient clinical situation and benefit, the evidence that is tested and published. It is a combination of all these factors. What may work for you may not work for your neighbor. Arthritis of the knee could be minimal, and anything could help the arthritis in this situation. Arthritis of the knee could be like a leaky roof. If it is small, when you patch it up, the leak will stop. If the arthritis is moderate, then the physician has many options for the treatment, and none of these options are predictable in the result. When dealing with a severe case of arthritis of the knee, simply patching the problem will not work. With severe arthritis of the knee, total knee replacement is the most predictable option for the treatment of arthritis. You need to reduce the level of pain and improve the function of the knee. When the roof of the house is totally destroyed, you have to change the roof. The same principle as with total knee replacement. So what happens when you have arthritis? The cartilage of the knee, the water will increase early. The collagen will be disorganized. The proteoglycan concentration and synthesis will decrease. The modulus of elasticity of the cartilage will be reduced. When these occur, you need to change the arthritic knee to a total knee replacement. 
the doctor will remove all the damaged cartilage and bone to insert in your knee. There is some potential risk of complication with every surgery. So what is new in total knee replacement? Patients can have a lot of choices. They can have a patient-specific knee, means a mold is made for the knee replacement and cutting of the bone is made precisely based on accurate measurements from the mold. The mold is usually obtained from preoperative imaging such as an MRI. Interoperatively, the surgeons can use navigation technology or robotic technology that will help in obtaining better alignment for the knee replacement, better fit, and better balancing of the ligaments. And this should improve the outcome for the patient. But of course, there is a learning curve for this technology. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.